Hello again, everybody. Um, so my ants are in hibernation now. They're, this is the fridge that they're in. It's just tucked up this little corner by the wardrobe. Um, and what I do on Sundays, um, they've been in hibernation for two weeks, so I gave them a little check over today just to make sure everything was all right. Um, as you can see, nine degrees in there. Um, I'll drop it a little bit later on, um, probably in December, drop it down to eight or seven, but they're fine. Um, now, I must apologise for some of the camera work in this video, but it's insanely hard to film ants when they're coming out of the fridge like this, because what happens is as soon as I take them out to have a quick look, they immediately start to condensate on the glass. Um, so this is my main colony, Laceus niger, just sliding them out the box. And as I said, I had to be so fast in filming because the condensation comes within a couple of minutes. Um, there's a few of them here, a few of them in these in this section, this outer section, but not as many as they used to be when it was warm. And mainly there's a few of them at the back here of this section in, in a little ball but mainly they're in one giant ball here underneath all that um, water that's unfortunately on top of the glass so actually I, I didn't water them today I can clearly see that they're wet enough in there um, this is the best I could do trying to get the camera to sort of focus down um, through that water and just see into a, a mass of, of ants and larvae that are all grouped together as one big ball um, but like I said one minute of filming or two minutes out of the fridge and immediately it's condensating up and making it foggy on the glass making filming nearly impossible and also I didn't want to have them out of the fridge for very long. I, I took them each out. This is a, a sort of an overview shot of them. You can just see the black clump at one end. That's about all I can see. I don't, I've, it, I, goodness knows where the queen is, somewhere in that black clump. But yeah, I took each of them out for no more than two minutes and then put them back and then took the next one out to film. So I didn't have them all out warming up. They only had two minutes in, in warm temperatures before they were back in the fridge. And as you can see, there's the odd one wandering around. I mean, some of those woke up because I exposed them to light and went on a bit of a wander, but there was one or two wandering anyway when I first took them out of the fridge. Um, and next was the Flavus. Um, and actually their setup's even worse than the Niger setup for um, condensating. As you can see here, it's just immediately got a, a fuzzy haze on the top so that you can't film into there. But you can see again, they're, they're all clumped together. You can see the little yellow ball this time um, with the queen sitting on top. And you can see there on the top that just how bad it is trying to film through the condensation and how it makes it all go cloudy and foggy. I mean, I did my best, as you can see there. They're very slow. Um, again, because they're just getting a little bit warmed up and because I've exposed them to light they're moving probably more than they normally would do in the fridge but as you can see the movements are very slow they're not charging around um, and uh, this is Queen D um, I obviously checked her water she's got plenty of water so she's fine um, again they're all clumped up in a little ball there at the end and even the test tube started to condensate quite quickly as well. Um, I did get some nice close-up shots and I apologise for the reflection on this but I just didn't have time to, to get a good angle and everything because I know I'm racing against time with the condensation and then warming up so I just had to do the best I could but as you can see in some of these shots she's got an absolutely fantastic larvae pile in there they've I mean they've still only got eight workers but there's 20 maybe even 30 larvae um, which are all going to pupate in March this colony is going to really explode um, and that's basically everything that I saw today. Um, thank you for watching. Um, oh, one little thing I will say to you um, is especially when it gets into deep winter, when it's in 
December, January, and they've been cold for a long period. And especially if you get it a little bit colder than my nine degrees at the moment, if you get them maybe down to five degrees, sometimes you'll look at ants and they'll look like they're dead. That You'll be able to like tip the chest tube and they'll just slide around in there like, like they're not even touching or gripping the sides. Don't worry, that's natural, that's normal, they're still alive, they'll wake up when you warm them up. 